International Climate Change Conference started on the 1st of December in Lima, in Peru. A two-week talk between around 200 countries which will need to set up a good framework before the climate agreement in Paris in 2015. 15,000 negotiators will try to reach a global deal to reduce carbon emission to limit the temperature rise to plus 2 degrees. The EU already agreed last October to cut its emission by at least 40% by 2030. The US and China also announced they would move forward. A good news coming from these three big world powers that are responsible for around 60 to 70% of total emissions in the world. Miguel Arias Cañete, European Commissioner for Climate Action and Energy, is confident. I'm, I'm sure that under the framework of the United Nations, we will be able to have intelligent wording in the final agreement who permits the United States will commit themselves to, to, the, the, to, to fulfill the promises they will put on the table of the pledges. However, for the director of Climate Action Network Europe, we should not be too optimistic, as they still need to fix targets before 2020. And that would be one of the difficult points at Lima Conference. There are a number of issues that are under discussion and that will need to be solved, um, which includes what to do with um, ac climate action before 2020, because the New Deal will deal with actions after 2020, but we need to get clarity on what is being done before 2020. One big problem that has motivated China's leaders to act and could motivate India as well is the fossil fuels that cause climate change, but also produce local air pollution. But Europe also needs to clean up its air, especially because of the health cost impact, as highlighted a recent report of the European Environment Agency. Health costs due to air pollution run up to uh, 60 to 180 billion euro a year, which is an, an increasing, a, a crazy amount. And a large part of that is due to coal power plants. So phasing out the use of coal power in Europe will will bring an important contribution to improving our air and to improving health costs or reducing health costs in Europe. According to Climate Action Network, Europe, as China and India, need to phase out with fossil fuel, subsidize and use. Over 600,000 people die every year in Europe because of poor air quality. Solutions to tackle air pollution are the same ones than fighting against global climate change, explained Claude Turmus, Green Member in the European Parliament. Uh, I think air pollution is causing uh, a huge number of deaths of, of people who die earlier. And the link between climate change and health is the same technologies. Uh, cars which are efficient, public transport, uh, houses which are efficient, uh, local renewable energies. Uh, this will also help to improve health. The 12th of December will be the last day of Lima's conference. Let's see how the negotiators will decide on each national contributions to fight climate change.